Okay, so today we are going to learn how to do not only a skybox, but also a 3D skybox. To start off, you want to make sure that your entire map, so you can do that by just clicking on um, the map, and making sure that its X, its middle X, is centered on the middle of the map. You'll know the middle of the map by where this kind of dark blue cross hits. Make sure the X is there. You can drag your map around until it is there. And make sure the bottom of the map is on that same X. So basically, the very middle bottom of your map, as you'll see by this blue line, is in the very, very middle of the map. This is for the 3D skybox, and we'll come back to that later. Right now, we'll just do a normal skybox. So make sure you have a room with both spawn points, and you're going to ungroup all the walls of the map by hitting Control u or you're going up to Tools, Ungroup. Now while holding on to Control, click on all the walls and go to the Clipping Tool and in your side view, drag across wherever you want the skybox to be. Make sure that the top and bottom are white. If they're not, if one's red, keep clicking the Clipping Tool until they're both white. Press Enter on the side view and it's going to clip your map. Um, you can either unclick the bottom part by holding on to control, or you can just click on the top part, same way. What we're going to do is go to Browse, and you're going to put in Tools, and it's going to be this Skybox one. It's the third from the right. It's a really big one as opposed to all the smaller um, little tool tools. Double click on it and hit Apply. Now you're going to see it shows up. It's kind of this bluish color. You're saying, oh wait, this is not uh, the, this does not look like a sky. Something is wrong. Well, it's not. This is just so you don't compile it um, while you're making the map so it's not slow. Now what we're going to do is go to our entity tool by clicking on it. It's the little arm and legless looking person to the left, or I guess a light bulb. Go down to Categories and Objects. Under Objects, change it to Light Environment. Now what you can do is click on your side view and move the light wherever you want it to be. This is where all your light source is going to come from. As um, So just click Enter, and this little sun-looking guy will show up. Now we'll leave that for now. And also what we're going to add is a ENV underscore sun, and add that to next to where your light environment is. Um, that's going to be where, your, where this sun is going to look like it's coming from. So, now what we're going to do is you're going to decide what type of skybox you want. Go to your window, your browser, whatever it may be. I'll pull mine up, and under Google, press skybox... Oh, for some reason. Okay, press skybox list. Go to the first thing, it's going to say Skyless Valve Developer Community. Click on it. And all these examples of skyboxes are going to come up. They are not only going to have a picture, but they're going to have um, examples of the maps and examples of the brightness. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose one that looks nice. I'm going to choose Sky Day 1 underscore 8. You're going to control C on the name. And you're going to go back to Hammer, go up to Map, Map Properties, go to Skybox Texture Name, and change Italy to whatever your Skybox name is. Hit Apply. Uh, by default, it's Italy, but Italy is kind of a boring um, texture. Now we're going to click on our Light Environment, and we're going to go down to Brightness. Now you can change this to what you want, but I tend to stick with whatever it says under the one that you chose. So mine has this. I'm going to click on it, press Control c to copy it, and then just select what it currently has and paste it with Control v Now we're going to change the ambient, and that's going to be there as well. Control c go back to Hammer, and switch it out, and hit Apply. Um, lastly, something that's actually kind of nice is called Pitch. It's basically the angle with which your light is coming from. So right now it's set to zero. We're going to change this to 
like negative 45. Negative 90 means that it's going straight down. So negative 45 would be like an angle in the direction that this little circle thing is implying. So it's going 90 degrees and we're going to change the angle a little bit so it's heading towards the top right of the map. Click apply and close that. Um, now when you compile a map it's going to show up and you're going to have some nice shadows. Go to the entity tool and click sky. Go down to sky camera. You're going to put it in the very middle bottom of the map, which is where the, the zero, zero, zero point is, and click enter. And this object, the sky camera, is going to show up. Make sure you have that selected and all the other parts of the map selected with, while holding control. Just the map, not the people in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to shift in the top view and just drag the map while holding on to shift across. And if you want, you can move it down as well below the map. So as you see, we have duplicated the map with the sky camera. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control M. This is going to bring up the transformation window, which is actually extremely great. OK, so you're going to go to scale, and you're going to type the following number in, 0 0.0625. This is 1 sixth of the amount. So we're going to make the map 1 16th that's what I meant, not 1 6, 1 16th of its size. So put 0 0.0625 in each of the values. Click OK, and your map it will become extremely small. Um, as you see, it is tiny. And what we are going to do is we're going to add an extension to the map. So as you see, we're going to click on the box tool, and we're going to add water all around the map. Make sure it's below the map. Actually, let's let's just add sand to it. So we're going to create a box under the map, like so. Hit Enter, and we're going to change with Shift A. We're going to browse, and we're going to change it to sand. Add a basic sand one. That's not correct not a decal, there you go, ground sand. Now, as you see, it's at 0 0.25, 0 0.25 for the X and Y texture scale. We want to make sure that it's going to be 0 0.0625 for both. So that way, when it's blown up to be on the outside of the map, um, it's not going to be crazy big. It's a point. 0625. 0625. So for example, you could add some really cool things like you could add, let's just say, a random crazy column. We'll add four sand columns while holding on to our shift. Add them all around our skybox. So as you see, they're rising out of nowhere. And then we're going to go into our map into our little 3D skybox, and we can delete the skybox around it. We can delete everything except for the sky camera. And now, lastly, we are going to create a box around our sand that fits perfectly around it. Hit enter, hollow it out with control H, press OK, and click on it, and then bring up the shift A, go to browse, and hit tools again, and make this the skybox texture. Okay, so the map has been loaded, and as you see, we have these giant sand pillars around us and this amazing skybox surrounding us and these shadows created by the light environment like so looks very nice if we were to go to spectate you would see that look all the sand is around us and we have these really nice shadows from the pillars 